Leeds United game where, you, you know, you get the, the hooligan on the pitch and, uh, and, and, and assaulting Chris Kirkland. You know, should we be concerned about our game? Are we in danger of heading back into the footballing dark ages? Yes, of course we are. We are. And that, last night, I mean, I didn't see it there if I was travelling. And uh, when, I, when I see it now, this happened with Celtic in a, a Champions League game about four or five years ago. Fan came on and basically tickled the jaw of the Milan goalkeeper. He went down. Didn't really hurt him. But it wasn't the fact that it was, was a hurt. I mean, that guy actually hurt some there. But it wasn't that fact. That, it was the fact that it threw Celtic into turmoil where they created nothing for one, one madman jumping on this, the pitch and ruining its reputation, the club itself. And that's what's happened here. But this is going broader now, Jeff. After this horrific week that we've had, based on the Serbia thing, which was thuggery. Absolute. I mean, it was absolute thuggery we were sitting watching. And the kids at home are sitting thinking, goodness me, is this what happens when you go abroad? And it's now we're starting to look at it, saying, have we got it back into Britain again? Are we, are we bringing it back here? And some, we have to somewhere along the line identify this and nail it. And... A lot of the time they actually sit there and go, well, the club have to be banned, they have to be fined. But, I mean, this is one guy who's, who's done that, and the club are in crisis now. Now football's in crisis because of this clown. But it was the fact that a lot of the fans were welcoming back and patting yeah. them in the back, and well done, mate, that was... Uh, and, and, and the offensive chants from both sides yeah. during the course of the night as well. This, the, and it's now getting out of control, Jeff. We're now, we haven't even mentioned football yet. We're talking about all these clowns and the madness of football that it's caught on. We have to identify it now because we can't afford to go back. It's bad enough the racism thing. But all this clowning about and all this madness that's happening at the moment, we need to nail it and we need to nail it now. We've